Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I am currently in the car. I'm gonna be trying something I've never tried before, and that is bottle digging. I don't know how many of you guys are into metal detecting or relic preservation, but I have this friend that got really into it. Um, her name is Maya, and I have known her since, I wanna say, 2013. We actually, we met doing our local community theater together. But she has since gotten really into metal detecting and she goes by the Miss Detectorist on YouTube. If you haven't seen her, you should look her up. She does all these cool digs and finds and it's really fun to watch. I personally have never even been metal detecting. I think I may have gotten one once for Christmas, but then never used it. Sorry, mom and dad. But she told me about this neat thing she does sometimes called bottle digging. And basically, um, my very light understanding of it, um, only having talked with her about it a couple of times. So if this is wrong, don't come after me. But basically, a couple hundred years ago, people would put bottle dumps behind their houses, and that's where they would dispose of their glass bottles and glass shards and such. Um, but as society continued to progress, those areas kind of just got left there. They never really got moved or cleaned up. So now, if you're able to find um, a couple of foundations where houses may have used to be, um, you have a good chance of finding the bottle dump behind those foundations where you can dig up some really cool glass bottles dating back a pretty good amount of time. Uh, personally, I'm always looking for neat glass bottles to add to my collection. So this sounded really fun to me. This sounded like a really fun thing to try. So that's what we're going to be doing today. I'm going out to meet her. Well, right now I'm actually sitting in the Dunkin' Donuts parking lot having my breakfast. You know we got some hash browns. Mmm. I don't even think I could tell you where the nearest Starbucks is. And I like Starbucks a lot. Don't get me wrong. Because that's what you find most often in the cities. But there is just something very New England. That like Dunkin' Donuts. That's home. Today I am actually drinking a, um, a French vanilla iced coffee regular. We also, along with the hash browns, got a bacon, egg, and cheese on a croissant. Consider this a low-key mukbang, <laughs> except not really. I am super excited about this, actually. Mmm. Mmm. That's pretty good. So, we're gonna go meet up with Maya, the mist detectorist, and let's hope we can find some bottles today. metal bucket I'm pretty sure anyway and then there's metal hoops somewhere up there you got it? yep <laughs> exactly like that <laughs> a carriage wheel Okay, all right, hold on, I'm, oh my God. So yeah, so putting this out for Nikki here, this is a carriage wheel, um, very, very old carriage wheel. Yeah, hey. <laughs> um, and uh, that's a great sign because that means that we are very close to a dump while well, we are on a dump actually. Um, a lot of times they used to throw things over the edges of cliffs into the river. That's so aggressive. It's so aggressive. Oh, yeah, they did why? not have a garbage man back in the old <laughs> days, so yeah. This is some 1800 trash, um, which is a really good sign. That means we're headed the right direction. Uh -huh, let's keep going. Yeah. Cellar hole, barn foundation. I'm literally repeating exactly what she just said off camera. Yeah, so <laughs> you wanna give them a little hit for the last one? Okay, oh my God, look at the pillar over there, that's neat. Yeah, so back in colonial New England, they used to build things 
uh, with rocks because there are so many rocks everywhere <laughs> and they used to clear the field so they could farm and they had nothing to do with all these rocks um, so they used them to build foundations and lots and lots of walls um, and it's a really good way to find old house sites so you can see that these big pillars over here are actually um, hand cut yeah. I was just telling Maya how um, I never realized that rock walls in the forest were a sign of I don't know civilization because there are a bazillion of those in the woods in my hometown where my parents still live and uh, I guess I kind of just grew up thinking it was the Fae. I don't know. You know how it goes. So apparently, no, it was yeah, humans. Every single stone wall out there was put there by somebody in the 1800s or 1700s. Some farmers. Unless you're my friend Matt, then you build your own in <laughs> 2020. <laughs> just Not to confuse the, the other. <laughs> but uh, no, these are old. You can tell from all the moss. <laughs> all right, let's check it out. Could have lived there. Who knows who lived there? First thing I do when I get to a site is I just walk around um, and kind of see what the layout is. An axle? Yep. So there's some glass up here, Nikki, too. What, is the window glass just thinner? It's just, yeah, it's just, um, you can tell it's thin and it's not, um, like a shape, obviously, it's just flat. Oh, got it. I feel like everything I'm noticing, she's already said she's noticed like five minutes ago. She's like, oh, look, bricks. And then five minutes later, I'm like, oh, I found a brick. <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> yeah. Found a square nail. Which is pretty cool. Hear that? Crunchy, crunchy. Oh, jeez. There we go. Oh, more window glass. Damn. What was this again? Um, so that's a cone top beer can. From the 20s, you said? Roughly, yeah. Roughly. Roughly the 20s. 20s, 30s, kind of. It's early. Wouldn't hold much beer now. No. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty toasted. That, a wash bin, some barn stone items. Parts and, uh, stone stove part. parts. Stove parts, rather. Stove parts. I was going to say, a lot of stone parts, There's too. a lot of stone. <laughs> yeah. So I think we're going to keep moving yes. and check out some other spots. We think this might be the barn, so we're going to try and find the main house. So we can find the stuff they threw out their kitchen window. <laughs> This is just wow. the stuff they threw out their barn, which is yeah. apparently a not as good. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, we'll see. Cool. All right, so let's find the house. Probably Bed after. frame poles. So we found the house foundation and a, pr Ooh, a tree. Possibly a privy. Possibly a privy. Or just an outbuilding. Which is a bathroom. <laughs> you show them inside of it. There's the entrance by the front, because you can tell this is a road right here. Um, oh yes, of course you can. Yep, yeah, I so saw there that. Would have been an entrance like on the road, but there also would have been some other uh, exits and entrances. This is a carriage wheel. There's more than one carriage. This is actually a carriage. An entire carriage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. That's, that's pretty cool. That's good. That's a good sign. An entire carriage. I'd an hope so. <laughs> yeah. No kidding. Hit your bed. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, this is uh, probably a mid-1800s, maybe a little earlier. She's just pulling things out of the ground. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and then another good sign, too, is, like, a lot of times if there are models, <laughs> the metal actually protects them. Oh, okay. Yeah, so you like it. to look where metal is. Yeah, and they also usually dumped all the same stuff. This, though, no, this roof, this might be just straight-up roofing. Yeah, so this is the entire bed. Right here. Oh my god. Yeah. This is kind of cool though. Nobody disturbed this. Yeah, right? Well, until you came along. <laughs> oh god, it's so soft and gross. <laughs> yeah. Let's get that. Ooh. What the? I love when it peels back like that. Right. What is that? Well, oh, wow. That's so cool. That's a really pretty piece. Oh my God, focus on it. That's yours. That's super cool. It's all you, girl. All right, this is where we're gonna dig. <laughs> right. We found a bunch of porcelain shards, though, that look like they could go together. Porcelain and earthenware. Yes, and some pretty rocks. Yeah, show them the sand. Yeah. Too. Well, the dirt changed color, which I've been informed is a good sign. I don't know if you can really <laughs> see it in this light, but it's getting sandy. 
It'd be pretty cool. Actually, it's already been pretty cool. Birds <laughs> in there with other stuff. Fuck it, just drop it again, but. <laughs> Here, just flip the fire or two. Oh. A bunch of cans. And those are a little later, but we're hoping to find some earlier pieces. Look at all these cans. <laughs> Glass shards, mason jars. Let's get digging. Sweet. All right. So we did finally find a good dump. Found some bottles, which is what I came for in the first place. Pops blue ribbon, <laughs> can, a little heart dish, a couple of nail polishes. I'm not even on it. That's hysterical. And we made an absolute mess, which is actually, you know what? It doesn't even look that bad. It's, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> and yeah. All right, so we just finished our dig. Um, my camera ended up dying right at the end, but we found a really great dump with some stuff from, what, the 50s party? 30s, 40s, 50s. Yes. I mean, nothing crazy, but fun. <laughs> I did get a video on Maya's phone of some of the things we found, and I'll go into a little more detail of whatever I can find once I get back home. Yeah. But thank you so much for Yay! doing a little collab with me. We had so much fun. Don't forget to check out The Miss Detectorist on YouTube and the other social medias. And yeah, maybe we'll do another collab with Maya soon. Yay! Hello again, I am back home and it's the next day. So I just wanted to give you guys a bit of a more detailed, closer look at some of the things I found with Maya yesterday during our dig. As you can see, I did end up finding quite a few full intact bottles, which I was really excited about. I haven't started trying to clean anything yet because uh, I think I'm going to have to ask for some of Maya's help um, just to make sure I do things properly and don't ruin all the treasures I brought home. So I just wanted to show you guys a couple of these things. These are a couple of the bottles I found. Um, Maya did inform me that they're not quite as old as we were hoping to find, but they're still really cool and I'm really excited to um, add them to my collection. I also found a few smaller ones that she said were typically used for vinegar. Um, and the like, as well as a little milk jar. And then I do also have this one bottle that is broken, but it still has the label intact, which I thought was really, really cool. We also found um, a variety of ceramic and terrapot shards, and you can see that these ones are glazed, so that's pretty cool. I think some of these may even be the same pot. Um, but I'm not quite sure. This is the first shard we found yesterday. But we ended up finding a lot more, especially when we moved over to that cliff where we initially started um, and we saw that first carriage wheel. That ended up being a huge dump. There was a lot of stuff there. Uh, that's where we found all the bottles as well as a couple more ceramic shards like this one and this one here. We also found this little tin heart dish, which I love and I'm really excited about. I'm probably gonna keep some rings or stuff in there. These these ones actually might be my favorite. Um, I found two little nail polish bottles, which is really cool. I think uh, Maya said she assumes these are from the 40s or the 50s, so they're not quite that old, but you can see it still has the brush intact which I just thought was really cool. So those will look nice once I clean them up a bit. And then we also found our horse keeping tools. Uh, there was this file, which I thought was really neat, as well as this, which would have been used to lead the horses around. I have yet to cut the root entirely out, but it looks like um, maybe what you would put a hot pan or pot on, we thought, or perhaps part of a car because there were a lot of car and buggy and uh, carriage carcasses in that dump. The last piece I found, this one made me laugh. Uh, I'm sure it went to one of the cars or buggies and that is a gear, <laughs> but I really felt like Link in uh, The Legend of Zelda. What was that last game we just played? Breath of the Wild. Breath of the Wild, that's the one. Um, yeah, so if you played that, then you understand what I'm talking about. I definitely felt like Link in Breath of the Wild finding this gear and I got really excited, so I just had to keep it. So yeah, I think it was a great dig. I had a great time with Maya. We found a bunch of really cool stuff. I learned a lot about this activity, which 
I've obviously never done before. If you haven't, be sure to go check out Miss Detectress on YouTube and Instagram. Maya has a bunch of great videos doing this, so if you enjoyed this, go check her out. Otherwise, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications because I will be releasing more videos every day leading up to Christmas for Vlogmas. Give this video a big thumbs up. And in the comments, let me know if you guys have ever been metal detecting or bottle digging or if you'd even be willing to give it a try. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.